This is the Sun and this is the Earth's orbit around it. As you can see, we're traveling in an elliptical shape and because of that we're closest to the Sun in January and farthest away in July. Now, if you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you might be thinking, but it's cold in January and warm in July, shouldn't it be the other way around? At least, that was my initial reaction when I first heard about this. And if you are like me, don't worry, it will all start to make sense in a couple minutes. The part that everyone knows is that the Earth spins around its own axis and that's the reason for our day and night cycle. But what you also need to know is that this axis is not a perfect 90 degree line relative to Earth's orbit. If this would be the case, the top and the bottom half of our planet would get equal exposure to sunlight and we wouldn't even have seasons at all. The temperature would stay relatively constant in all countries during the whole year. But as we all know, that's not the case. The reason for this is that the axis is a little tilted and it stays exactly like that while the Earth travels around the Sun. You could be thinking that when we lean towards the Sun we're closer and therefore it's warmer. That would be perfectly reasonable, but actually that's not the reason. While it's true that we experience summer when our side of the planet leans towards the sun, it's not because we're closer. In early January, we are around 5 million kilometers or around 3.1 million miles closer to the sun than in July. To give you an idea of how much distance that is, imagine you have a lot of time on your hands and decide you want to go around the equator. If you do it once, you've roughly walked 40,000 kilometers, which equals about 25,000 miles. You would have to do that 125 times to have walked 5 million kilometers or 3.1 million miles. You'd think that such a huge difference in distance would have an impact on temperature and yet we don't feel anything. So the little tilt back and forth just doesn't cut it either. But the tilt does something else. When we experience winter, people in the southern hemisphere experience summer. This can't be a big surprise because I'm sure we've all seen Australians rocking Christmas in their bathing suits. But why exactly does this happen if not for proximity? When the bottom half of our planet leans towards the sun, it doesn't only get more hours of sunlight, but also the sun rays are coming in more directly. If the sunlight shines straight onto an area, it's more concentrated and more powerful. Therefore, it generates more heat. At the same time, in the top half of the Earth, sunlight exposure is shorter and the rays hit at such an angle that they are more scattered and lose a lot of energy. The remaining energy is not enough to heat up as much. Near the equator, it's constantly hot because the sun always hits at the right angle, no matter how the Earth is tilted. The more you move away from there, the colder it gets. The North and the South Pole are both extremely cold even during their own respective summer times. Fun fact, the South Pole is much colder than the North Pole, but this has nothing to do with the tilt of the axis. It's mainly due to factors like higher elevation levels, ocean currents and the extent of surrounding sea ice. So to sum it all up, our proximity to the sun doesn't really matter when it comes to temperature. How the sunlight hits the Earth is much more important. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.